Forterra builds a virtual world platform, and that's a piece of software that allows anyone to set up and instantiate their own virtual world. So if you want to have your own virtual world, control all aspects of it, control what's in it, who can access it, we have a platform that will allow you to do that. Hey, Steve, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Mr. Burwell. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing just great. Tell us a little bit about where you are and who you guys are, and uh, um, let's get started. I just want to spin around and introduce some of the role players that you see here standing behind me. A collaborative environment allows multiple people to look at the same information. And when you have more heads together, you get better decisions. That's where virtual worlds are going to pay off in the long run. A good example of where you can use a virtual world is for a training application. A training application for first responders to a ChemBio incident, mass casualty incident. The way they do it today is that um, you get real people to travel to a location and they run a live exercise. Typically organizations at best maybe get to do this once a year. And then what happens is a week later after you've done your live training exercise, Joe moves away, Shirley gets promoted, Bob um, it takes another job and then all the procedures change. So over a brief amount of time, you know, using traditional live training, the skills of people get very stale very quickly. With a virtual world, people don't have to travel. They can log in anywhere where they have a PC and a broadband connection. They can show up in world and run exactly the same kind of group scenarios in a virtual world as you would in the real world. So the particular incident that we saw was um, uh, based on work that we did for the U.S. Army um, TATRIC. And th this was for a uh, ChemBio um, incident. We looked at the tasks that you would have to do um, at a, a ChemBio event site, how you would respond, what every, each people would do, and we put together a curriculum how you would train them to respond in this mass casualty incident. Are your eyes or skin burning? It's hard to breathe, and yes, my eyes burn. The second part of it was to see what would happen if you had a mass casualty event and, and, and what would happen when they were admitted to a hospital. So we modeled Stanford Hospital. Um, so we had a, a geospecific um, location in the virtual world that matched exactly what Stanford Hospital looks like. And so the, we could see what would happen when a large number of patients simultaneously showed up. The fact that you have to figure out whether people have been decontaminated or not, the procedures that you have to go through when, when that is. So that's something that can be trained. So we built all the assets and all the functionality that will allow this mass casualty incident to be practiced in a virtual world. Forterra is very happy to be uh, involved with uh, University of Coventry and the Serious Games Institute. And they are um, being innovative to take that technology and find ways to apply it. And I think in the long run, that's going to be very valuable for them. It's going to be great for the economy here. And any companies that, uh, that are going to be interested in the space should be looking here because of the innovation.